Good morning. It's January 1st, New Year's Day, 2021. And I'm Bonnie Grimaldi, the intern pastor at Lord of Life in Chagrin Falls. And one of the leaders bringing you daily devotions Monday through Saturday on Facebook Live. Two years ago, I was staying on a kibbutz by the Sea of Galilee. And as I made my way from my room to breakfast, I took a detour by the sea to look at the sun rising over the water, as you can see behind me. Its beauty stunned me. The reflection of the sun's brilliant rays made the surface of the sea look like a golden mirror. The cool breeze of the morning air refreshed me even more than the coffee I was about to drink. I had an incredible sense of peace. Again on the Sea of Galilee, I went to the Mount of Beatitudes later on in the day. I stood there mesmerized by the contrast of the many colors that sparkled as the sun broke through the clouds just after the rain. I'm always surprised at how each experience with nature is different and how it recharges my soul. I don't make New Year's resolutions, but if I did, I'd resolve to get out to the lakes and streams around Grand Falls more often. Jesus got out to the lake many times. Jesus withdrew to the Sea of Galilee often to recharge. I don't know why it seems so hard to get away to the beauty and wonder of God's creation when it's so fulfilling and life-giving. When I want to get away and can't, Sometimes I imagine I'm by the lake with Jesus. I actually have done guided meditation this way, which I find very renewing. Meditating and praying in church is one of the ways that I find peace and rest in my everyday life. But the beauty and wonder of God's creation remind me that we can find sanctuary in every corner of the earth. The Lord of all creation hears our prayers and has blessed us with the abundant beauty and resources of the earth, but we often fail to appreciate them. God's blessings are everywhere, and God is with us in every moment. Dear Lord, thank you for the blessing of this beautiful earth. Prompt us to be still in the business of our lives and to appreciate your blessings. Amen. It has been my pleasure to talk with you today, and I hope that you find some beauty and wonder in God's creation in your day today.